And in every reference where Christ is fighting, that country is Muslim. How come Americans thought for all these years that Christ is going to fight the Antichrist who comes out of Italy and he enjoys eating numero uno pizza? <laughs> and spaghetti and meatballs, I guess. I don't know. The EU, one country, ten nations join. Greece was the tenth nation that joined. And then 11 joined, 12 joined, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 22, 22 25, and... Right, there you go. And I never knew this guy. And I've discovered him later on. I was like, how come he stole my stuff? <laughs> and he, he probably thought the same thing. Who's this guy stealing my stuff? <laughs> well, both our stuffs were coming from the same source at the same time. He was doing his research in 92, and I was doing my research in 92, and he was doing his research in 92, and nobody wanted us to open our mouths at any prophecy conference, so we had to get together and form a gang, and here we are. <laughs> Tell me that Israel doesn't matter. Tell me it doesn't matter. Well, let's see. Judgment Day comes. I'm pro-Palestinian Christian. And I wanted an establishment of a city of Jerusalem to be divided between Muslim Jews and Christians and Arabs and Jews. Let's divide it. Give the eastern portion to the Arabs. It's okay. After all, we'll have peace. But I'm a Christian. I believe in Jesus and Him crucified. And I attribute to that kind of thing. And when Christ comes, and He will come, and come He will... He's going to be ticked off. <laughs> and what is he going to be ticked off about? He tells you, Joel chapter 3, I will gather all nations into the valley of Jehoshaphat, and I will enter into judgment there with them on the account of my people, my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations. They have also divided up my land. And Westerners don't even know why Christ is going to come. I asked them, why do you think Christ is going to come? Judge said, well, we know that. What's he going to do? Well, bring peace. We know that. What else is he going to do? He's going to come and fight for Jerusalem. And judgment day comes and you're going to go, uh, hi, Jesus. Uh, I'm judging the world. Excuse me, I'm busy right now. I'm going to judge the world for dividing the land of Israel. Well, I'm pro the division of the land of Israel. Left, next. <laughs> Can one be on the side? I mean, look, who wants to divide Jerusalem? Who wants to divide Jerusalem? The devil! Antichrist wants to divide Jerusalem. What does he come to do? Divide Jerusalem, divide Israel, divide the land. If, if, if Antichrist wants to divide the land, and you are pro the division of the land, what side are you on? He said, I send you as sheep amongst wolves. I send you as sheep amongst wolves. So what does that mean? If you got no wolves, maybe you're not sheep. Think about it. Think about it. If you don't have wolves in your lives, and don't tell me your mother-in-law is the wolf. No. <laughs> that is not what the Bible is talking about. Or your credit problems. Or your hemorrhoids. That's not what God is talking about. <laughs> Those are not the wolves. Wolves are real people who really want to kill you and get you and destroy you for what you believe in. I began to understand when Jesus said that the day will come that the ones who will come to kill you, they will be thinking they are doing God a service. In fact, in Psalm 83, clearly what it says. Let's go back to Psalm 83. Oh, let's finish this one. Remind me to go back to Psalm 83. Look at that. Verse 8. For it is the day of the Lord's vengeance, the year of recompense for the cause of Zion. 
What does he do to Arabia? Verse 9, its streams shall be turned into pitch. The word streams, Hebrew is nachal, which doesn't, which really doesn't mean water streams like you think. It's not water streams. Nachal is torrents, mines. Look it up in the Strongs. Underwater, underground torrents or mines or tunnels will be filled with what? Pitch. What's pitch? You want to argue with that one? They'll be filled with pitch and its dust into brimstone. Its land shall become burning pitch. It shall not be quenched night or day. Its smoke shall ascend forever. From generation to generation, it shall lie waste. Al Gore is not going to be happy when this happens. <laughs> figure that one, Al Gore. Go figure that one out. He's going to complain. He loves to complain. We say, sorry, we're ambassadors for Christ, you know, sitting in our desks and our offices. Sorry, you got to take this with the boss over there in Jerusalem. But we don't really suggest, Al, that you go to Jerusalem and confront with the boss, okay? <laughs> He's not the kind of teddy bear that you thought about him in his first coming. The environmentalists, they can't do anything about it. It's going to burn forever, continually. They're not going to cap these ones. And there you have it. We have just completed the 2007 International Prophecy Conference with nearly a dozen world-renowned speakers, but you don't have to miss a minute. I've been invited to many prophecy conferences, but this is the first one that I was allowed to talk about prophecy. Could the apparitions that perform numerous signs and wonders that the Catholic Christians revere and worship also be the same things that Muslims will also worship? Our spiritual link is so...